Welcome back to the channel, Den members. Today, Steve is actually coming over, just waiting for him to arrive. And Steve said he's actually got a couple things he's bringing over. I know he just got a new shotgun, so I'm gonna be looking at that today. Looking forward to doing a review in the future. But he said there's something else special coming. Uh, oh, he actually just pulled up. Let's go out and meet him. Good morning. What, what do we got here? Okay, so we got your Benelli. I, I'm looking forward to that. It's a, no, it's a Nova, right? Yeah, Benelli, uh, Nova pump shotgun. Awesome, I used to have one of those. But what, what is this? This is 22 long rifle. So this is my dad's. Um, he used it for trapping when he trapped. But I learned that this was also his dad. So my grandpa's. Let's see that. Was my, grandpa's rifle from when he trapped. Not that it matters for this, but he's a World War II vet, right? He was a World War II vet. He actually fought in the Battle of the Bulge. So what I'm hearing is you've brought me something to clean up and restore. Yes. My gosh. It has been sitting in a garage for the better part of 20 years. Not kidding you. I've actually just it, cleaned it up with a towel to get all the dust and spider webs cleaned off of it. Yeah. This is a Savage Mark One. So it is a single shot. Okay. <clears throat> I was yeah. thinking maybe it had an internal magazine, but oh, oh, Steve. Mm hmm. This is going to be fun. Uh, Steve and I are going to go inside and figure things out, and then we'll be going to the store to get some stuff. I'm actually excited about this, man. There's part of me that really doesn't want to open this because I know how hard it is to find. But if there were any reason to open this bottle, it's definitely because we hit a thousand subscribers. Yeah. So I will make good on my word. I really hope you like this stuff. I said it in my first thank you video. Uh, Blanton's bourbon is a really good single barrel Kentucky bourbon. Um, Anybody that has had it or knows about Blanton's knows it's almost impossible to get Can right I now. Can I attempt to smell it? Steve doesn't have a sense of smell. I, I do. It's just very weak. Oh, that's sad. I can't smell any. Well, there we go. Here's to 1,000 subscribers. Our goal is now 1,600, but let's be honest, it would be amazing to hit 2,000 by year end. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you to all of our subscribers. Thank you to everybody that watches and supports the channel. We've got a lot of awesome stuff coming. And in a few weeks, Aaron and I have a big announcement. I think we've talked about that. Yep. Um, but we're really looking forward to what we have planned for the rest of the year and, you know, just for the foreseeable and unforeseeable future. All right, we just got back from the store and I did just a little bit of quick research. It's in really rough condition. I hate even manipulating the bolt here. You see how much resistance is there. In short, we have our work cut out for us. We aren't really sure what's going to happen here. We don't really know. We don't really know what to expect with this rifle. It is bone dry. This is rust. It's not dirt. It looks like it's surface rust. I'd be willing to bet there's quite a bit of pitting in it, but I don't think it's going to cause any problems with the integrity of the barrel. The important thing is it does in theory still work. I used a dummy 22 long rifle round I have earlier and it put an indentation, actually two indentations on it. Those were two test shots. So, it looks like it will still function. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tear the whole thing down. We're gonna take the barrel off. We're gonna remove the bolt. We're gonna just take an inventory of what we have going on. I'm really nervous about the inside of the barrel. Uh, I'll run a boar snake through there, maybe shine some light to see how it looks on the ends. But I think it's gonna turn out well. I think we're gonna get this thing looking absolutely beautiful. The stuff we're gonna be using, especially in the barrel, I'm gonna try some bore solvent. I've got cleaner and degreaser here. We're gonna be using on pretty much every metal surface. Uh, lubricating oil, gun grease, some just simple Lucas gun cleaner. As far as something that's abrasive, I've got these brass and bronze brushes we're gonna try out. 
If we need something a little more heavy duty, I've got a little bit of steel wool. I really don't want to use this too much, but it may recall for it. I also have this Frontier Metal Cleaner. It says it won't damage blued surfaces. And in the comment section, I'm fully expecting anybody to tell me that we could have done something different or more efficient or better. All right, first things first, we're gonna remove the bolt. So put it in fire, pull back, pull the trigger. That comes out. Look at that rust on there. But that's also encouraging that it's that clean right there, Steve. All right, so with the bolt out, okay, the only thing that I can see here is this one Allen screw. If the barrel comes off with this, I'm gonna kind of be happy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Steve, it really was just held in by a single bolt. So there's the bolt and the action. Everything that should move, moves. It's just, again, so much rust right on the barrel there. So we've just run into our first obstacle. The barrel is blocked. Um, absolutely no light is coming through. I don't know if there's a projectile in there. I don't have anything. I do have something. The AK comes to the rescue again. I'm gonna use the ramrod from it just to check the barrel here. Let's see what we've got going on. Well, it's not here. Oh. Could it just be spider webs? It is. It, I, a li there's a little bit of light coming through now. Steve, we're, we're gonna be okay. It's just, it's something soft. I'm gonna get tetanus. Oh, gross. And yes, I realize I just put the end of a barrel in my mouth. With that out of the way, we're going to try just to see if a little bit of solvent, a little bit of gun cleaner makes any kind of dent on this barrel. I'm just gonna spray it down with gun cleaner and rub it down with a shop paper towel. No. <laughs> yeah, no. All right, we're just gonna take some of the cleaner and degreaser on one of the brass brushes. All right, that is an excessive test area, but I'm okay with that. Moment of truth. So just after the first go at it, it's already looking a lot better. I mean, this was the really bad side. So this is, this is the before section, this is the after. What I think I'm gonna actually end up doing, Steve, is once I get the majority of just the surface rust off, I think I'm gonna take it to Central Isle Corvette because uh, they have a sonic cleaner. And I'm gonna let's see if they'll let me dunk it in there for a little while, maybe overnight. And I think that'll really help with some of just the under stuff. We'll see how this keeps going, but. I think we're gonna cut here and we're gonna keep going at this off camera and we'll catch back up with you when we have some big updates. Sometime later. So Steve, uh, it's not gone quite the way I thought it was. The good news is it's going way better. <laughs> Look at that. It's still not perfect, but all of that rust has just come right off. Like I said, I think I'm gonna see if I can go get this in a sonic cleaner just to break up some of the dust. We ran a boar snake through the barrel a couple times. It came out clean. This has honestly been virtually a best case scenario for us. This stuff, that frontier stuff, works really well. I'm very impressed with it. I am just blown away with how well this is turning out. There's a little more work I need to do in the chamber area. The trigger and the safety mechanism both seem like they're in pretty good shape. I think they just need a little bit of lubrication. What I haven't tackled yet is the bolt carrier group. I think it's just rust transfer because it's just rubbing off with my thumb and it's very smooth. So I don't. I think this actually transferred from the the chamber itself. Steve, you have to go. You've got baseball, you said? Yep. We're gonna do this kind of like a surprise reveal. Steve's not gonna be allowed to see this again until it's all done. In a couple days, I'll have you come back and get it and I'll film your reaction. Steve, get out of here. All right, bye.
Okay, we're gonna set this out of the way and work on the bolt a little bit. That's looking really good. It's not perfect, but any gun that's been used is gonna start getting a little bit of wear in places, especially on the bolt carrier group. But that is looking so much better. All right, so we're gonna start working on the stock. Honestly, it's in pretty good condition. There's a couple places here that I thought I was gonna need to sand down, but I don't think that is actually the case. I am going to wipe this down with a bit of a degreaser because it does have quite a bit of CLP on it. And that's not terrible, but we are gonna be using a different oil here. I'm gonna be using the Birchwood True Oil. This is the same stuff that I've used on my AKs in the past. It's the same thing I use on my M1 Garand, and it works very well. I highly recommend it. Just gonna use a simple microfiber towel that, from my car cleaning supplies. And a little bit of this goes a long way, but we're still gonna be pretty generous with it. This wood may very well be very thirsty, despite how good a condition it seems like it's in. Oh my goodness, look how much better that already looks. That's done, that's not. You can't really see it on camera, but it looks so much better. It just looks, has a better sheen about it. We're gonna be very liberal with it here. Oh my goodness. Oh, Steve is gonna be so thrilled about this. Steve's dad is gonna be blown away by how good this looks. This is why I really like restoration projects. You take something old, something that has fallen apart, been neglected over the years, something that doesn't work, something that just looks like it belongs in a landfill, and you put a little bit of time into it, some care, some blood, some sweat, hopefully no blood, not yet this time, but there's still time and you can make something that looks like it's brand new. All right, I am going to go throw this in my Sonic cleaner and I'm going to take the barrel down to Central Iowa Corvette and we are in the home stretch, I think, here. Days later. Okay, so it is a few days later. Steve is actually on his way over to see the gun for the first time. And here it is. I am very pleased with how the finishing on this turned out. You can make out everything that's printed on the barrel. The barrel has a nice blued finish depending on how you see it in the light. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. But it is a whole heck of a sight lot better than when it first came into my possession. All right, Steve just got here. Steve, you ready to see uh, the final product? I am. I am very excited. Well, tough. It's mine now. Open your eyes, Steve. Ooh, look at that. That's nice. Uh, looks, uh, does it actually look like it's usable now? It does look like it's usable. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know what the next step is, right? Yeah, we gotta go pew pew. That's right. We're actually gonna take it to the range and test it out for the first time. Sometime later. So, do yeah, you wanna shoot it first or do you want me to shoot it first? No, uh, shoot it first. Target. Wow, you're you really trusting me, huh? Uh, I am. All right, first time shooting in two years. You see the crosshairs? Hi. Hi, but hey, it's shot. Yep. Okay. Just put a, put a few more down. Okay. I'm gonna call this project a success, man. Uh, I, I've really enjoyed doing this. Um, I hope your kids like it. I hope you like it. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to try and do another project like this. Thank thank you for trusting me with it. Nice work. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's going to do it for this video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the bell icon to get notifications on future content. These ears are really messing me up. As always, don't take life too seriously. And make it a great day.